So, and quickly wanted to update you about this new feature that has come. If you are practicing questions on neatprep.com, it is not available on the app right now. But what you will be able to see, a lot of you had asked us, sir, please show us how many questions we are getting right, how many wrong, and also tell us the breakup of physics, chemistry, bio. So, understand this. Physics 25 attempted, 20 right, uh, chemistry 25 attempted, 20 right, this is sample data. And in this, you will be able to see 25 physics, physics is blue, 25 chemistry, chemistry is orange, and 50 bio, uh, bio is green, right. And if you attempt less than 20% question of any chapter, if you attempt less than 20% questions of any chapter, it will turn red, okay. So, lot of you were starting to practice questions after seeing this feature. And I'm very happy about it. So that gave us a lot of confidence. We have developed this, deployed it on neatprep.com. When you log in on neatprep.com, if you have joined target batch or full course or catalyst batch, you will be able to see this progress. Very good. Now, what is important? Important is this question. Can you learn swimming by watching videos or can you learn cricket by watching Sachin Tendulkar or Virat Kohli bat? The answer is no. What is important is if you want to learn swimming, you will have to, someone can tell you do this, do that, but then you'll have to jump in the pool and all those things that you have to do. You have to coordinate between your hands, your feet and taking breath and going down again so that you can move forward, right? Similarly in cricket and similarly in preparing for need. You cannot create crack need just by learning theory. You have to apply this theory by practicing questions. You have to apply this theory by practicing questions. Otherwise, you will not be able to. It is important that you learn theory by watching videos and taking notes, but it is useless if you don't practice questions after that. It is useless if you don't practice questions after that. It is like watching Michael Phelps swim and hoping that you will be as good a swimmer as Michael Phelps, that is never going to happen. What have we told you? We gave you a PDF in which we told you that in 96 chapters, you have to practice around 40, uh, 14,000 questions. If you are preparing for NEET 2022, you are trying to finish your syllabus by March end, March 2022 end then you have around 24 weeks remaining, right? 24 weeks, 14,000 questions, which means every week, approximately 600 questions, right? Every week, approximately 600 questions. And physics, chemistry, bio, 300, 150, 150. This breakup and this many questions, 600 questions per week, if you maintain, then you have a very good chance at cracking need because majority of the students do this. They will watch videos on YouTube or anywhere else, but they don't do this. And this is short, short recipe of not getting selected. You talk to anyone who has cracked need and he will tell you that to crack NEET, you have to practice questions. That is why we have given you this feature also. This will tell you where you are, how many questions you have practiced. Are you maintaining the right balance between physics, chemistry, and bio? What is your accuracy? But all of this is useless if you have thought that, okay, I'm not going to practice questions. Somehow, dear God is going to come and he's going to solve paper for me in NEET exam. Not going to happen, right? Don't live in fool's world. And additionally, you will practice around 20 mock tests. You will practice around 20 mock tests in new pattern, which means 4,000 additional questions. So 4,000 air, 14,000 air, all good. You will be in a good position to be able to attempt the paper properly and target selection in government medical college. So students, again, I want to challenge you. Can you learn swimming by watching videos? Can you become a great batsman by watching videos of Virat Kohli and Sachin Tendulkar? And can you crack neat without practicing questions? Tell me in the comment section and tell me have you started using this feature which I just showed you and how are you liking it? How is your question practice going on? Alright students.